statement, and then we can take some questions. You know, it's a tough loss. It's a tough loss at home, but uh, you know, coming in the game on four and two of those uh, conference conference losses you win in the second half. I believe this is uh, the eighth game out of out of our ten losses where we've been up in the second half. You know, we uh, we got to find a way to to make meaningful shots to end runs. We struggled with that. We struggled from the free throw line. You know, and uh, you can see uh, why Marquette's good. You know, and why they're 15 and three. We got four seniors, four seniors that didn't let them lose. You know, uh, with Robinson and Morris and Fiderowitz and and White. Uh, but uh, we just got to keep plugging away. You know, we return 10 of these 12, 10 of the 12 guys, and um, we'll head tomorrow off and start getting ready for West Virginia. That's all you can do. I mean, nobody in this league is going to feel sorry for you. I mean, this league's unmerciful. Uh, that's why it's the best one in the country. Um, we got to stay positive and stay together. And like I said, uh, our last two practices have probably been two of the best ones we've had all year. Coach, the the disparity in fouls, I mean, I think they got to the line 21 times. I think you guys got their nine. Is that just them doing a better job of, of getting those opportunities? Or? Yeah, you know, and I think, so, you know, we settled for a lot of jump shots. But, you know, a lot of the stuff that they got where they teed off on us on offensive rebounds and we fouled, you know. And that's been a problem uh, for us containing the dribble and, and fouling as much. But, you know, the game was, the game was officiated very well. They got no problem with how many times they got to the line. I thought they attacked. They attacked us more, but they, they, you know, with them playing a one-three-one, one-one-three, three-two, playing their matchup, uh, they did a good job of uh, keeping us outside, outside of the lane, especially where we settled for things. Are you pleased with the the intensity the team showed? They built a you know a nice lead in the first half. Uh, but were you pleased with how they performed going down you know, the stretch? Or we, I, I thought we came out of the locker room a little. Uh, not as good as I, I, I liked, but and it was even, you know. But when when they went on that run, and it was we took two timeouts and immediate, you know, on that they, they hit back to back threes. Or Angel Robinson makes a great play from the floor, you know. Uh, and they hit those back to back threes. At least we answered and came back. But then they hit another one on a baseline drive, and the kid drifted to the corner. They scored on a. Uh, on a, on a post slip late, late in the uh, late in the shot clock, where we just broke down defensively, and that's just finding a way to win, and they found a way to win. But we gotta we gotta get more pro pro productivity from some guys on our point guard spot. You know, we go two for fourteen, that hurts. You know, um, but you just gotta get back, get back in the gym, and, and, and get back and continue you know, to to watch film and, and prepare and. and continue to get better. Jose, I know you had high hopes for when Sasha would come in and, and, and be available to kind of add to the depth in the backcourt. Do you know why you, she hasn't had the same impact in terms of, of making this a better team? Well, you know what, I, I think she, uh, what she take? She took three charges today, defensively, three or four. I, I thought she, she's done a very good job uh, defensively. I think we, we, we don't need her to shoot the ball a little better, but as far as distributing and getting the ball up in the open floor, you know, sometimes it takes some time for, for a kid that has, has to sit out for a semester and hasn't played for a year. Right. But, uh, 